You're watching WDSU News Channel 6 on your side. It's a disease that affects 10 million Americans, and nearly a fourth of the cases go untreated. If that happens, the results of PAD can be disastrous. WDSU News Channel 6 medical editor Dr. Corey Abair is on call tonight with a procedure that can prevent the loss of a limb or even possibly a life. It was in this area. I'd had the most pain in my calf area when I walked about a half a block. It's like a burning sensation. It's just like with each step it gets a little hotter, hot, just like burning, like your legs on fire. Ladice Ellis's intense pain was caused by blockages in her leg and the source of the blockages, peripheral artery disease or PAD. Ladice suffered from PAD because she was a smoker, but other people that are at risk for developing this condition are people with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and obesity. And after a while, it leads to enough narrowing that not enough blood supply gets to that, say, the leg, and so they can develop a leg ulcer, foot ulcer, or lesion, and if it doesn't get healed or treated, it can lead to an amputation. Doctors can usually manage PAD with medication, but if after three to six months the patient's condition hasn't improved, other alternatives must be considered. One of those alternatives is called cryoplasty. A patient is taken into a lab and given local anesthesia. The cryoplasty balloon is inserted into the blockage where it freezes the vessel and then it warms it up. And it has a lot of unique properties. One, you can avoid putting in stents. Two, you can treat the small vessels, especially below the knee which are normally the ones to get blocked in patients with diabetes. The procedure usually takes several hours and that is done on an outpatient basis. I think still right, the and you're still doing the exercise and recording? Yes. Good, good. Yes. For so Ladice Ellis, it's, it's made a huge line, difference. So. Mm -hmm. The difference is like let okay. me be going to the mall. By the time I park and get into the mall, I'm looking for the first seat that I can find. But now I can walk about halfway around before I get a seat and it's put a spring back into her step that's been missing for a long, long time. Walking in heels and everything. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Abair on call for WDSU News Channel 6. Dr. Abair says there are some risks with cryoplasty, the possibility that you'll need the procedure done again in six months to a year, and the wire involved could rupture a vessel. But the advantages are far greater, he says. It is minimally invasive, and the recovery is much faster than with other options.